Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a, another Juvia's Place demo and review for the Magic Mini Palette. Um, if you guys don't know, I love Juvia's Place eyeshadows um, and I've decided to make sure I review all of them. So we're going to use this one today. Um, I haven't 100% decided on my look. I'll kind of wing it as I go. As always, on um, my eyes, I have the MAC Prepper and Prime 24 Hour Eye Base. This is my favorite eyeshadow primer, so I'm using that. All right, so I'm gonna start this look off a little bit differently, kind of like um, some of the other looks I've been liking lately where you do like the dark color on the lid and then kind of work your way out um, instead of, you know, building up the crease section first. So we're gonna start with this dark blue shade here. Um, I'm not going to attempt to say the names on these palettes because they're just a little bit um, more unique and a little difficult for me. And instead of like butchering the name, I'd rather just point them out. This is your typical dark blue. There's no sheen or shine to it, it's just dark blue. I'm just going to keep most of this on the lid. And I'm just taking a flat synthetic brush. Uh, this one's from MAC. I don't know the number on it. It's 212. Okay. So that's that. I got a little bit of fallout under my eye. I'm not too worried about that, but at least this is like the base so I can start building some shape with the colors with it. Okay, so now that I've got that going, I'm gonna take this Precision Blending Brush by Luxie 243. Gonna go back into the dark blue shade and just kind of work it through the crease. Um, I'm going to go into this kind of pretty brown shade and see if I can work that through the crease. I'm going to start with the Luxie 231 Small Taper Brush. Taking that up a little bit higher than I normally would. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go with the smaller brush. It's the MAC uh, 221. I'm gonna kind of go into this like darker orange shade here. Focus that on the inner part of this. Taking that original taper brush, doing that same thing. No additional product, we're just kinda feathering it. Then I'm going to take my MAC 217. I'm going to go into this super light shade here. Kind of looks like a bone white. Go under the brow. I'm going to go back into that blue. Just kind of touch up the lid a little bit because we lost some of that here. So I'm going to go into this really awesome kind of like purple periwinkle shade right here. I'm going to start with a synthetic brush, um, just spraying it um, first because I feel like these shades work better that way. And then packing it on. Hopefully this works. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. All right, so let's do my cheeks. I like to use colors in this palette, so I'm gonna use this like hot pink red and then this pink on top. We'll see how it rolls. Um, sometimes these don't make good blush colors. Sometimes they do. Ooh, okay. Very potent, so we'll just do it. Okay. 
Okay, so that's just dipping in once. I know it looks a little crazy to a lot of you, so I'm just gonna keep blending that beauty out. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, and then I like to take a brush that has nothing on it and just kind of help work that in just because it's so bright. Okay, then I go back in and I'll do that lighter pink shade to kind of bring this back more to a wearable situation. Pretty. Gonna go under my eyes with my trusty Kevin Aquan. I think I'm gonna use the, this shade here, see how it goes. It's kind of this teal shade. I'm just gonna go with it because it's in there. I'm just not loving it, that's all. All right, inner tear duck. I'm gonna do this brighter blue because, um, I don't know, I don't want it to be too icy, but I want it to be a little more icy than what I've got going here. Just because my cheek is so warm, I kind of want to like tone it down a bit. I wasn't going for a mermaid look today, but that's where the look wants to go. It's pretty, it'll work. I'm just not like in love with the gold on my cheeks. So we'll do that as the base. And then let's take, let's take, let's see, this is my glow kit by Anastasia. And I think I'll just take um, Sunburst, which has some yellow to it. Just do it on the outer edge here, give it a little more pop. All right guys, so the magic of YouTube, I am complete. This is the whole look, my eyes, my cheeks, um, this is the Juvia's Place Magic look. Um, I really like this palette. I know this palette isn't going to be for everybody, but for me, it has a lot of the colors I like. I really like blues and greens and purples and pinks and reds. Um, the only thing this is really missing for me is maybe like a yellow, um, would be nice or a lighter green to kind of mix with those blues and greens. But other than that, I love it. Um, I also really enjoy all the artwork on the Juvia's Place palettes. Um, that's one of the things that I really think is just stunning and beautiful. I like it a lot. Uh, this palette too, again, is somewhere between like 20 and $25. Uh, Juvia's Place does a lot of 40 and 50% off discounts. If you get a chance to pick up their stuff, I would definitely recommend getting them from Juvia's Place directly. If you want to, you can also pick them up at certain Ulta stores. So I do really like this palette. This is definitely up there for one of my favorites. Um, I'm really enjoying this palette and I've used it several times. I don't think there isn't a color I haven't used in here. If so, it might be these two, but every other shade I've used in different looks and I really enjoy this palette and I think the quality is excellent. None of these as far as like quality, like I feel like there's an issue with the shadow. I feel like they're all pretty consistent. Of course, uh, this darker like blues here, they're two different types of blues. Like one has more purple, one's more blue. Um, those get a little bit patchy when blended out, but if they're packed on the lid or used as a liner, they work great. And I kind of think that's more what they're intended for than actually being like blended out through the crease. Uh, yeah. Um, this is another Juvia's Place hit for me, the Magic Palette. If you're only able to get one palette, I would probably say this is the one you should get. Um, this or probably the Masquerade Palette, just because it has an array of different colors and you can make a lot of different looks with it and I think you're getting your best bang for your buck. Mini palettes are great um, and I think you guys should check it out. 
As always, guys, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I just want to thank you for that. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I post a new video every Tuesday in my description box will always be my Instagram where you can follow me for daily posts and my website uh, if you'd like to hire me as a makeup artist because you can. As always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.